It's the Tony Rose Morning Show on D93 and uh, awesome podcast out there you guys need to be listening to uh, with a very a couple of awesome people, a radio icon and one of the uh, most famous uh, actors in all of Hollywood. The podcast is really, no really, and we are joined by Peter Tilden and the one and only Jason Alexander. Good morning, gentlemen. How you doing? Good morning. Great. Good morning, Tony. Thank you for having us on. Man, it is uh, so cool to have you guys on here. Of course, uh, Jason, uh, we know your work. Peter, of course, radio folks know your work as well. Uh, but you guys have been friends for a long time, and now you get to do something together, uh, do this podcast together. And it's so much fun watching you guys on. I, I love watching it on YouTube, just seeing the interaction and how much fun you guys are having with such a unique uh, cast of characters and guests that you have on. Well, thanks. We try and, we try and find things that make us go really, no, really, and we put it together so we can do stuff together. Jay, why don't you talk about some of your episodes that you like? Well, you know, Tony, what's, what's fun about the show is it, it's anything that makes us kind of cock our head and go, what could that be about? And then we go and try and get the answers. And then sometimes it starts as something really silly. It can be the very first one Peter and I ever did was based on a, sign, a, a, a Jerry Seinfeld stand-up premise where he was asking about why is it in public restrooms the, the stall door doesn't go down to the floor? Why do we have the little viewing window, as he calls it, at the bottom? And, you know, we were laughing about it, but then we went, yeah, why is that? So Peter went out and found an award-winning public bathroom designer, and we got the answer. And then we went, oh, we can find people that actually have answers to stuff like, um, you know, you hear these, uh, if you go on YouTube, you'll see people that have trained their pets to talk, essentially, by using pre-recorded buttons on the floor. And we thought, okay, are they really talking? Or are they just saying, give me a treat, I want to go out? And we, we got the owners of these people on, uh, of these uh, animals on, and the, what we found out was astonishing, the, the emotional connection, what these dogs are able to express. And that was furthered when we, when we brought a scientist in who did an experiment with animals to find out, do they really love us? Is it just that we feed them, or do they really love us? Yeah. And he got an amazing answer. So, you know, it's everything from that to, you know, uh, when, the, when the, uh, the hidden window blew out on the Boeing airplane, <laughs> we had Richard Quest on as an aviation expert to go, why are, why are holes suddenly appearing on flying airplanes? It can be serious. We talked to a man who runs the International Institute of Forgiveness. We thought that was going to be a silly premise, and Peter and I wound up in tears on that episode. Right, Pete? Wow. Yeah, it, it's amazing. When you find out, like, the jaha, they're bringing back the woolly mammoth, and then you get the scientist from Harvard who's actually doing it, and you find out the reason for it, and it blows your mind. And back to the bathroom episode, which the premise is easy. Why don't they make the bathroom door go to the floor? Yeah. It became about a whole, it, a lot of time becomes about a whole other thing, the illusion of privacy. And you're not just in public restrooms, but at, at home and online. So we were always fascinated by the stuff we find out. So it's a blast for us to do it, and then having best friends sit together and hang is not a bad thing to do. I can't imagine, like, when you reach out to some of the guests that you guys ha have on, like our bathroom our, our, our bathroom door designer, it has to make their day that somebody just acknowledges the brilliance that they've brought to the world, right? Um, yeah, there, yes. are, there are times, I think, when they're, they're surprised that anybody is calling. <laughs> <laughs> I think so. <laughs> we are also conversely amazed every time we get on the top guy in the field, the top yeah. economist, the top Harvard expert. It's a bit easier now because we have uh, 80, 90 shows in the can, so they can hear it in reference and see that we're kind of credible. We've had on other award winners and laureates and stuff. But in the beginning, yeah, we wanted, we, we were thrilled every time somebody of merit would come on because they go, you know what this is about, right? <laughs> yeah. We have no Peter, idea. Peter <laughs> gave me a great, I, I love UFO stuff. And remember there was that, there was a whole period there about six months ago where there was evidence that NASA was putting out of the possibility of UFOs and they're having scientists. Well, Peter got the head of the scientific team to come on so I could go, do you believe in aliens? He said, yes. I said, do you believe that they could have visited our planet? He said, yes. I said, what do you got? He said, nothing. I mean, <laughs> you know, just, he also said with climate change, 
global warming, move to Antarctica because it's going to be really the place to be in a couple of years. So, yeah, you find some stunning answers from some amazingly talented and knowledgeable yeah. people. Really, but, no, really is the podcast, uh, Peter Tilden and the legendary Jason Alexander. Peter, of course, radio folks know your name. You, uh, you're a legend in, in this business for so many years. And of course, Jason, uh, the work that you've given us, uh, of course, we fell in love with you in a kind of a bad way and pretty woman, but of course on Seinfeld. Uh, thank you so much for what you've given us. So many laughs over the years and continue to give us laughs. And both of you guys with the joy that you bring with this new podcast, where can we hear it at? What's the best way to check it out? Just go to really, no, really, uh, dot com And it's, it's on iHeart, of course. And then wherever and, you get your you listen. And by the way, if Johnny, anybody a little thing, Peter, tell them about our thing. Yeah. If we're doing a, a Festivus special, if anybody nice. knows actually celebrates Festivus all out, reach out to us at really, no, really podcast at gmail.com because we want to put you on the show. It's an honor having y'all on. Thank you so much. Continue best of luck, and I'd love to visit with you guys again soon. We have some more time, but uh, thank you so much for the time this morning. Thanks, Tony. Take Take care. care. Thanks.